Welcome to Easy Way to Physics with Jaya. Today we learn about lens, CBSE Physics, Grade 10, Chapter 10, Light, Part 9. Here we will discuss about the important terms associated with lens, difference between mirrors and lenses, focus and focal length of concave and convex lens. Before starting, subscribe the channel and tap the bell button to get the notifications. This is your channel, so share with your friends and learn all the topics very easily. There are different types of lenses. Convex lens, concave lens, plano convex lens, plano concave lens. These are only some types. When we study in detail, Convex lens is also called double convex lens. It is thicker at the middle and thinner at the edges. Concave lens is also called double concave lens. It is thinner at the middle and thicker at the edges. As you know, it has a cave shape. Then, plano convex lens. One of its side is made convex and the other side is plane. Plano concave lens. One side is concave and the other side is plane. Thus we can define lens as when two spherical refracting surfaces or a spherical refracting surface and a plane refracting surface are joined together, they form a lens. Either there should be two spherical refracting surfaces or one spherical refracting surface and a plane refracting surface joined together to form a lens. A lens has two spherical surfaces. Whether it is a convex lens or concave lens, it has two spherical surfaces. Here we mark the centers of those spheres, those spherical surfaces as C1 and C2. These centers are known as center of curvature. Same as we studied in the case of mirrors, center of curvature is the center of the sphere of which lens is a part. Center of curvature is the center of the sphere of which lens is a part. Since there are two spheres, uh, there are two center of curvatures also. Principal axis. The line joining the two centers of curvatures of a lens is called the principal axis. Here we can see the lens is a part of two spheres and C1 and C2 are the centers of those two spheres. The line joining C1 and C2 is known as the principal axis here. Optical center is the central point O on the principal axis of the lens through which the ray of light passes without any deviation. Actually, optical center is the center of the lens itself. Radius of coverage is the radius of the sphere of which lens is a part. And here for a lens there are two spheres of which lens is a part. So there are two radii of curvatures also. We represent it as R1 and R2. For a concave lens we mark the principal axis, the center of curvature and optical center as shown in the diagram. Please draw, label and practice it for convex lens as well as for concave lens. Principal focus of a convex lens. When a parallel beam of light incident on a convex lens, after refraction, the rays of light meet at a point on the principal axis. This point is called the principal focus of the convex lens. There are two focal points for a convex lens. They are represented by capital letter F1 and capital letter F2. The distance from O, the optical center, to the focal point is called focal length. Focal length is represented by small letter F1 and small letter F2. 
principal focus of a concave lens. When a parallel beam of light incident on a concave lens, after refraction, the rays of light appear to diverge from a point on the principal axis. This point is called the principal focus of a concave lens. Concave lens is diverging light and convex lens is converging light. Concave lens is also called diverging lens because it diverges a parallel beam of light falling on it. Convex lens is called converging lens because it converges a parallel beam of light falling on it. Converging means concentrating. Diverging means spreading. Same topic we studied about mirrors also. Please compare with that and find out which mirror is converging there and which mirror is diverging light. Difference between lens and mirrors. In the case of mirrors, it is made opaque by coating mercury on one of its sides. Whereas lens is made up of transparent material. Second difference is image formation in mirrors is due to reflection of light. Whereas in the case of lenses, image is formed by the refraction of light. Mirrors, the surface may be either plane or curved. For lens, at least one or both the surfaces are curved. Hope you understood the topic well. Please enter your doubts in comment box and give your valuable suggestions also. Please subscribe the channel and share it with your friends. Tap the bell button to get the notifications.